from the city of brotherly love, welcome to The Marshall and AJ Show. Welcome. Hey, we're coming to you from Philadelphia here, and we got a lot to report. So, it's been a couple weeks, and they have been kind of crazy. We... Oh, it's been a while since we did one of these, and unfortunately, we're back in Philly. We hoped the T cells had worked, but they didn't last year, so we're here for T cell try number two. Teenage Mutant Ninja T cell. Anyway, so we're, uh, when we first got here, I was in so much pain, I really could not get out of bed, and Amanda had to basically bribe me to. I mean, it was rough. We'll just say it was rough. But I got in to see my doctor, and we were going to spend a couple nights um, getting settled in. We ended up getting admitted pretty much the, right then the, after we met with the doctor, which was a good thing. So, um, what we, th you know, last year the problem was I was accidentally <laughs> in remission. I, had, I didn't have enough cancer for the T cells to really get activated, is what we think happened. And the dosing well, was we smaller. Hope happened. Right. I mean, you want the, these T cells to work still? There were some differences to the protocol. They made some changes. So, needless to say, um, I this year the problem is entirely different. I have a little too much cancer. I had ninety five percent of my bone marrow was packed with cancer. It was causing so much pain uh, that I could hardly move. Um, so the good news is, after five days of chemo, I can move. I'm up. Uh, the bad news is he already had an ICU visit because he's <laughs> growing three bugs yeah. in his blood. So what happened is uh, we... We've we never had that many bugs grow in his blood ever. In four years of yeah, fighting this, that's that kind of crazy. We Klebsiella, did. Enterobacter, and the third one, they're still... It's mysterious. They don't know. What. We're still investigating. But they think it might have come from his skin. So let's reverse, rewind just a second. So why am, why is this a problem? Well, because I had five days of chemo to get rid of some of the, um, no, to get rid of, yeah, to bring the cancer level down. And it's a new kind, what's it called? Clor well, Clofaramine, and Clofaramine. it's usually used to treat AML patients. We're thinking of you, Madeline. Yes. And it's usually used in refractory disease. So that means disease that has come, come back. back. Yeah, so yes. after five days of that, my... White blood cells, my immune system tanks like it does, and I become neutropenic is what they, what they say. I don't have any fighter cells. And since that time, I have contracted those um, bacterial infections. Well, I don't know about since that time, but about day number day number six or seven of being neutropenic. Okay. Yeah. His, it was five in the morning, and they I, they are consistently taking his blood pressure and his vitals, his vital signs. Mm -hmm. So... About five in the morning, they took it. His pressure was low. His temp was high. My blood pressure was and really low. He was low. freaking out because that's exactly what happened last year when he went to the ICU septic last year. And that's it was very similar this year, but I think he bounced back a lot faster. Oh, yeah, go a little quicker. Right? We didn't have to do quite as many, quite as much fluid and quite as well. I was pretty sensitive to the uh, blood pressure medication for a while. But spent a couple of days in the ICU and uh, not a fun place to be. I was happy to to get out and we're back in a, a standard hospital room and we have good care. What's kind of interesting is some of the nurses are the same from last year. And it's, and it's, it's good to see and we're some, in, some we're, familiar faces in this yeah. mess. So. And we're in the same room. So it's, it's very... Um, Deja vu-ish. Yeah, at times, at times very, de that's, that's a word, deja vu-ish. <laughs> um, anyway, I, uh, do you have some inspiration for us? I do. So, today is November the 10th, and I got this awesome book, The Future as Bright as Your Faith. And this was given to me at a Make Peace Retreat that I went to in Park City. Thank you to the person who gave this to me. And it has like a good quote every day of um, the year. So November 10th is the need for charity. And the scriptures from Mor Moroni chapter 10 verse 21. Except ye have clarity, ye can in no wise, I'm sorry, except ye have charity, ye can in no wise be saved in the kingdom of heaven. 
There is a serious need for the charity that gives attention to those who are unnoticed, hope to those who are discouraged, aid to those who are afflicted. True charity is love in action. The need for charity is everywhere. Needed is the charity which refuses to find satisfaction in hearing or in repeating the reports of misfortunes that come to others, unless by so doing the unfortunate one may be benefited. The American educator and politician Horace Mann once said, To pity distress is but human. To relieve it is godlike. And I, mo- I moderate comments online now. I don't know if I want to talk about that. Mm. And I see mm. that a lot. Um, yeah, I'm doing two jobs right now that I can work both of them from the hospital. And we have a good example of this. Thank you. See this cute little card? This is a time release get well card. Thank you from my awesome cousin Jordan's wife Sky and their family. So for thinking of us. Yes. So thank you and not also to the many others. We appreciate it. Did you hear a joke? Oh I no, I played background music for your inspiration. Okay, no joke to... today. Maybe next time. Signing out. That is the Marshall